Okay, small YouTubers, come a little bit closer because we need to talk. So you finally clicked at the record button and the rest is now history. Now, you are about to take a journey that is very painstakingly slow. And I am telling you, there are going to come time where you are going to question yourself, question if you took the right decision by starting a YouTube channel, simply because you are working so really, really, really hard, but you're not seeing any results. It happens to all of us. It happens to everybody. I want to show you something, a huge YouTuber, what they said about their own growth about maybe 12 years ago. There we go. You know, it took me over a year to get my first thousand subscribers, like a year and a half. Took like almost a year to get the second thousand. And the fact that I just gained a thousand subscribers in like the last 11 days and from 4K to 5K only took 12 days and uh, 3K to 4K only took 19 days. It's, um, it's awesome. You know, I never thought I'd be growing like this. I really didn't. I've always thought, you know, because I've been doing this for three years and you have no idea the amount of time I put into this channel because, you know, I enjoy it and I have fun. I put so much time into this channel. I never thought people would actually end up watching it, or at least this many people, and the numbers are just going up. It's crazy. Um, I, I appreciate it. I do. And a lot of people will say, you know, Beast, I look up to you. Beast, I've watched you just start to take off. You know, what are you doing? I'm just, you know, having fun and being original. Two keys right there. Just be original. That's probably the biggest one. And then have fun. If you're doing those things, you know. So if Mr. Beast, it took him over a year just to get 1,000 subscribers, why are you complaining? Why are you saying all these things? Oh, YouTube hate me. Oh, YouTube does not see me. What am I doing wrong? You are doing everything right. Provided that you are uploading YouTube videos consistently as per your upload schedule. If you are not going to be uploaded as frequently as you can, then yes, your growth is going to be painstakingly slow. But you can always change that. I've already given you guys some tips on how to actually teach the YouTube algorithm to quickly learn what your channel is about. I did give a little bit of a formula that worked for me for my very, very recent YouTube channel, which is the fifth one. And it is monetized and it was monetized within nine days simply because I followed those tips myself to establish a new YouTube channel. So I am also going to implore you, listen, if you are going to be consistent in uploading videos on your channel, then you are not going to find yourself in a situation where you are crying right now. Now, there is another YouTuber who does finance niche. His name is Graham Stephens, and he is earning $2 million a year from his YouTube channel alone. I'm talking Google AdSense here, and here he is. What's up you guys, it's Graham here. So after nearly four years of making videos here on YouTube, I'm gonna break down exactly how much I make with a channel of about two and a half million subscribers because recently I wouldn't even believe it myself if I didn't see it firsthand. But on Christmas day of 2016, I started this channel to share my excitement towards saving money, personal finance, investing, real estate, and credit cards. Back then, I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea how to film a video. I had no idea how to edit a video. But after years of telling myself that I didn't have what it takes or that who would wanna listen to what I have have to say, I finally posted a video. Back then, I was working full-time as a real estate agent, and every single day after work, I would get home and film and edit YouTube videos until about two o'clock in the morning because it was just that much fun. No joke, it actually got to the point where I look forward to making YouTube videos every single night because it became my outlet for self-expression and talking about the topics that I found really interesting. So without further ado, let me take you into my YouTube studio and I'll show you exactly how much I make. So we'll start back at the very beginning, and when I was first making videos, I was making nothing. So now officially on January 20th, 2016, 17, monetization was in full effect, and I made a whopping seven cents. But it doesn't end there. After continuing to post three videos a week, one month later, I was earning an average of about one dollar a day. Now, by that same time next month in 2017, I was earning an average of 12 to 20 dollars a day. All of a sudden, my videos started picking up a little bit, they were getting a little bit more views, and YouTube was recommending it to a small audience. I think YouTube began seeing consistent uploads combined with high user engagement, which meant that people who watch my videos would be likely to comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video, and then go and watch other of my videos. Which, by the way, if you like the video, subscribe or comment down below. It helps me out tremendously. But anyway, when YouTube sees those videos getting good signals, it's likely to push that video out to an even larger audience. That is when I realized that if I upload consistently and I keep making content people enjoy watching, the YouTube algorithm will work in my favor and I can grow the channel. Well, lo and behold, it worked. And later on that month, I started making about $120 a day when one of my videos started taking off. It was the first video I had ever made and it was how I got into real estate and real estate investing just out 
out of high school. Now, in total for the entire year of 2017, I earned $26,966.69 from YouTube. Then in 2018, things picked up even more. Now, the way YouTube works is that once you get a backlog of videos on your channel, it starts to work a little bit like a snowball in that you start getting more views, which gets you more views, which attracts you more views. So the more you post consistently, the faster it grows, and that's what happened here. In the beginning of 2018, my base ad revenue was about $100 a day, with some days about $120. But then in April of 2018, things began picking up a lot. My videos started getting more views and attracting more subscribers, and those subscribers would continually watch each and every one of my videos, so everything started growing rather quickly. At this point, most days were about $200 to $350 in ad revenue, and consistently that just kept increasing. In July of 2018, it was a high of $855 per day. And even though the views slowed down a little bit after that, the trend was consistently the same. The highs just kept getting higher and the lows just kept getting less frequent. Then in November of 2018, everything changed. I was able to get my hands on what many would consider to be the holy grail of credit cards, the $10 million JP Morgan Reserve Card. In a last minute decision, I decided to film an unboxing video and post it on my channel to share my excitement for getting the credit card. And almost instantly, that video went viral. Within a week, it had a million views and it brought in an entirely new audience to the channel and gave me so much more exposure that catapulted everything to the next level. That single video elevated everything, and on November 15th, I earned $3,420 in a single day from ad revenue. After that, my views stayed consistently high to the point where every day earned just over $1,000 in ad revenue, and throughout the entire year, I earned $170,945.60 just from ad revenue on YouTube. After that, it just seemed like my entire channel grew considerably day after day. Day. And the ad revenue increased to $2,000 per day on the low end to $6,000 per day on the high end for the rest of the year. In total for that year, I earned $1,141,231.43 from my main channel in 2019. And my second channel, The Graham Stephan Show, earned an additional $170,428.75. In fact, most days, it doesn't even seem like something like this is even possible. But here we are. And after almost a year since updating everyone on how much the channel is earning, here you go. Beginning in January, the channel was consistently bringing in about $3,000 to $6,000 per day in ad revenue. But then the illness struck. Almost instantaneously, overnight, ad rates went back down to about $2,000 as everyone began cutting back. Now, in terms of revenue, though, by April, the channel was back to where it was in the beginning of the year, earning about four dollars to $6,000 a day. And then it started growing even more. Throughout that month, most days earned anywhere from $6,000 to $8,000 a day, with May 19th bringing in over $10,000. Since then, I do my best to stay as consistent as possible without ever missing an upload. I read nearly all the comments to see what you think of the videos and what types of videos you want to see next. And I spend as much time as I possibly can to try to bring you the best content I could possibly make. And still, to this day, the channel earns anywhere from $4,000 to $8,000 per day, with some recent days exceeding $11,000. That means in total, for 2020 so far, this channel has made $1,583,755.81 in ad revenue. And The Graham Stephan Show has made $297,000 $857.35. So you see, it is also possible with you also to reach this level, again, provided that you are consistent with uploading videos on your YouTube channel. Now, let me tell you something else that you may not know, or maybe you have heard before, but you're like, why is not happening to me? I'm going to tell you right now, you are one video away from your life changing forever. This is something that happened to people like Marcus Brownlee and a whole other YouTubers where they were uploading videos, uploading videos, uploading videos, and one just decided to take off. And when it took off, their lives changed. Today, they are big company holders, which earn millions of dollars and still having YouTube channels. And also the other thing that I want to tell you right now, that as long as you are consistent and you are serving the people for what they have searched for on YouTube, you are also placing yourself in front of doors of opportunity opening to you either working with brands collaborating with big youtubers or who may like what you do and then your life changes forever so set yourself up and your youtube channel in order for these doors of opportunity to open there is no time to give up now you've come this far whether you have one video or you have 10 videos or you have 100 videos or 300 videos and you are still seeing that now nah, my channel is not moving it's not going anywhere Hold up and just be patient because that's what YouTube is about. It's about patience, perseverance, endurance, and persistence. 
but most importantly consistency and don't also forget to add frequency by frequency what do i mean if you are uploading once a week i would encourage you to actually go three times a week why because you want to quickly teach the youtube algorithm what your content is about or what your channel is about so that it does not take months months and months or years years and years before you reach your first 1000 subscribers and 4000 hours of watch time trust and believe me if you are going to be thick skinned about being a youtuber especially when you are still small as you are please do not give up even when you feel like mm, this thing is driving me up the wall calm down and then serve the people what they have signed up for all right and the most important thing in this journey is to make sure that you do not compare yourself with the other youtubers whether you compare yourself with big youtubers or you compare yourself with youtubers that started along with you and now they're a little bit far ahead and you are still stuck at where you started please don't compare yourself it's going to steal your joy but what you need to do is is take inspiration from big youtubers and those that started along with you and see what is it that they did that is making them to be pushed by the youtube algorithm speaking of being pushed by the algorithm again i will say this one day you may wake up in the morning after months and months and months of uploading videos on youtube and no traction you might get up and your life has completely changed it has happened it will always happen because the youtube algorithm one day it is going to pick up all your videos or some of your videos and just push them to even more people get yourself monetized and make yourself probably equal amount of money if not more than graham steven or all the other big youtubers like mr beast marcus proudly ksi you name all of these are big youtubers that are making millions on YouTube and today they own their own companies why because they've been earning a lot of money from YouTube Google Adsense and stuff like that so keep dreaming because that dream when you press record you knew you knew it was gonna come true so just because you are finding it a little bit difficult to move no 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 you are moving as long as you are uploading videos and building that library of videos you are building a foundation of one of the videos taking off and your life changes forever so please do not give up please do not give in please do not lose faith and patience just hold on to this dream that you have this passion of yours that you've always had and you press the record now it is for you to keep working do ignore all the other stuff just focus on posting videos on youtube until the algorithm catches up with you and then blows you out of the water trust and believe me that is going to happen it might not happen today or tomorrow or even in 2025 but eventually it's going to happen just continue providing value to your audience and those that come across your videos let them feel like oh wow i learned a lot from this person oh i like this person or whatever it is that they might feel inside after watching your videos and then they subscribe and when they subscribe they also watch your videos from the beginning to the end giving you great audience retention and that's when the youtube algorithm is going to pick you up remember the three matrix that i always preach on this channel is that your click-through rate must be impressive to the youtube algorithm and the audience retention as well and engagement so work really really hard in making sure that people are clicking on your videos and also they are watching at least a great portion of your video and then people are also engaging the video by liking sharing commenting and even subscribing that is why that call of action which i don't particularly do on my channel and the reason why i don't do it is because i believe in my heart of heart that i am delivering value and if somebody finds value in my videos they are going to click the subscribe button because they would want to hear more from me because i always have more videos like this very one so if you found value do the right thing by subscribing and also click the bell notification so that you get notified every time i upload a new video and as well guys i do have a one-on-one -on -one consultation where i sit down with you and then i look at your channel i do a channel review and then i tell you exactly 
where the issue may be i do own five monetized youtube channel including this one it's just that this one it is half monetized this is where that you know that first monetization that is where it at i'm literally left with 112 hours to hit 4,000 hours of watch time so i highly appreciate it as well if you watch my videos in full and then you will start seeing ads running across and there's a very uh, channel videos. So basically those are the things that I do. I do also the one-on-one -on -one consultation is an hour. In most cases, it's not an hour. It goes all the way to two hours depending on what I see, but I still charge the same price even though I go over the hour that I have set for you and me. Why? Because sometimes I see potential in you and when I see potential in your possible growth, then we will spend it for as long as it's possible to give you all the tools that you need to grow your YouTube channel. So if you are interested, please go down the description box or where you can contact me so that we can schedule a one-on-one -on -one virtually. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. There's PayPal. There's all these sort of things. Yes, I do charge a fee for this service. Anyways, guys, I hope as a small content creator, you are motivated to keep on going. Keep on going, guys. Do not give up. If you have given up, go revive your channel. Trust me, you are going to thank me later.